All right, this was an interesting run featuring Tiger Woodpecker. I think it's a pretty well-known strat that you can go with Woodpecker and put Pineapple on it, and it deals a pretty nice amount of damage because each little shot will deal four, and at level two, you're going to deal eight. Level three would be 12. And then you can also put a Tiger behind it, so that would double its damage potentially, and then it's going to be scaling quite nicely. So yeah, a total of, what was that, 24 possible damage if both things were level three. It's not the worst. I mean, it wouldn't be amazing. It's not going to kill anything in the later rounds, but like if there's any weak units at fronts, it's just going to clear them out. And so it's uh, it can be kind of useful. And uh, also, you know, Woodpecker pops Melon Armor, which is probably the most useful thing, I think, about it. It can also activate people's hurt abilities, which is somewhat common, uh, especially like in Arena. can run into those elephants, like Camel, Elephant, Blowfish, that kind of stuff. And it can be kind of problematic, but I almost rolled past it, decided, you know what, okay, I'll go for the Woodpecker, and decided to sell for a Peacock. Okay, that was a little bit strange. I wasn't thinking I would actually do that, but yeah, you can activate hurt effects on your own, and so it got plus four attack for the cost of two health. Didn't really work out too well, but I mean, the Peacock, I think usually if you're going to go with hurt abilities, you want to take Leech because they give permanent stats. This is just temporary stats, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't really, I was just kind of experimenting with Arena. These days, like, I could just play Arena and try to win, but most of the time I'm just messing around and trying to go for fun builds. I really, like, I liked the Swordfish run so much that I just, I want to keep doing it. I don't know how it would be any different, but I just want to do the same thing again, and again, and again. <laughs> and I want to just make it work more, because it wasn't satisfying enough. I only had one round where I really got it to work uh, the way I wanted it to. It can be tricky, because that also involves getting level 2 alpaca and like scaling the shop up to 50-50, so yeah, it's pretty difficult. Early squirrel. Squirrel used to be quite the joke, but now it's not so bad. In fact, I think it's uh, probably considered to be pretty good. If you're going for a food build, definitely trying to put a squirrel in is a good idea usually. And wow, you can see how many things I just killed with the woodpecker. Unfortunately, it didn't matter since I still lost, but still killed three things right there just with one unit. And it doesn't even have a pineapple on it yet. All right, draft for some additional scaling. Not too bad. Blobfish usually worth just the freeze. And then went ahead and sold the peacock. Honestly, I think the peacock mis uh, buy was a mistake. Really shouldn't have done that. But looks good for next turn. Have to pill for the blobfish and the pineapple. Gonna double this damage on the woodpecker. And again, killing two things. So it seems like it's working out pretty well. And do manage to win that round. Plus, I get a one gold discount. And so this pill is gonna be free which is great. This is like a free chocolate and, well, it's like, uh, not a free chocolate, but a chocolate plus a free apple right there. And so gonna have to wait till turn nine to actually get the tiger, but clownfish, this is pretty much equivalent to buying a pair for two gold because I get to sell the clownfish. So it is reasonably efficient just to take for a turn. Of course, his stats aren't great, and here you can see kind of the problem. Ran into that blowfish, it got quite a few shots off, but still managed to draw, so not too bad. And this is going to go ahead and be a level 3 woodpecker. Pretty cool, and husky is not even that bad, since it will buff everything on the team besides the woodpecker. And I was debating whether it's actually worth it. I mean, that's... I don't think it was worth it. Just because it was shiny doesn't mean I have to buy it. But it's so tempting when it's shiny like that. And Lynx is a great just last uh, fill unit. It's going to deal, I don't want to do the math, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 8 damage. Which is probably going to kill something this early on. I mean, it's like a crocodile that's hitting something random. Alright, and then I decided to go full sniping. Why not? Take advantage of this uh, gold efficiency from the squirrel. And now I've got a crocodile that's dealing 10 damage and a lynx that's dealing uh, 7, 9 damage. And I was debating, I could attempt to go for double woodpecker here. It just seems really stupid though because then I can't really put a tiger unless if I also get that one to level 3. And of course it's going to deal a whole bunch of damage to my own woodpecker. 
but you can see I wiped out most of their team with that uh, snipes at the beginning, so that was pretty satisfying. But yeah, don't think I'm going to go with the uh, double woodpecker strat. Go with the cow, and then I can take this lynx as well. And look for level 2. Let's see. And there it is. Oh, okay. Going all lynx. So triple lynx with a woodpecker crocodile. I love this team. It's just a sniper team for sure. But, I mean, should deal a good amount of damage here, right? Let's see. Okay, managed to kill the camel. Okay, only killed two things. That's a little bit disappointing, but I still managed to win the round at least. And, okay. There is white tiger, which means I can just go ahead and put a white tiger in. Um, probably want to get its attack up, so fried shrimp. Yeah, makes sense. And just need a couple more attack. Could do that with a croissant if I want to. Yeah, alright. And now it should have equal to the crocodile. Not sure if it's actually going to work. I, I don't know if it's random or if it's left or right, to be honest. But I played it safe, just made a level 3 lynx instead. Killed the orca, killed the deer, killed quite a few th uh, things, but it might not be enough. Yeah, definitely not. And now I'm on lethal. A little scary, because I don't even have the tiger going yet. But there's an additional lynx. Love to see that. And I can go for a level 3... I could go for level 3 white tiger, and then get like... That would level everything up behind it. I'm a little surprised I didn't go for that, because that's the more fun play, if you ask me, but that's okay. Um, maybe I uh, I just predicted the future and knew that I would roll into one more Lynx. Of course, that's just that's the reason for my decision. All right, so now this level 3 Croc is going to deal all... Oh, I killed the entire team. Level 3 Croc, to be honest, dealing 30 damage is pretty absurd. That's just fantastic on these earlier levels. It's going to fall off pretty quickly, as most of the sniping builds do, but I can at least enjoy it for the time being. And there we go. There's the Tigers that I was looking for, which means I've got a level 3 Lynx, got a level 3 Crocodile, and now I've got the Tiger Woodpecker. I assume that the Pineapple still applies. Yeah, it looks like it. So 4 damage 4 times now, love to see it, 16 damage, and I can hopefully continue to rack up more, okay, yep, level 2 tiger, and then maybe just buy like a hot dog, I guess there's a chance it would hit the crocodile and kind of mess things up with the white tiger, so just decide to buy the chocolates, and I love this team, it's just so much fun, and I, I mean I've said this I think before, but my favorite unit in the game, white tiger, Unfortunately, ran into a super stack team, and that's it. I mean, it happens. I don't think this is exactly the best team, but that was an extremely strong team for that turn, like two 50-50s. A little bit disappointing, but still. I think it's a pretty interesting team, and just a kind of fun run to show off. Only 40 points. How disappointing. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.